Hey Morgan, my name is Erin, and as promised, I have a short video for you just showing how you can help grow your business online through your online presence. Um, so the three things that we will cover in the video are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So we will go ahead and jump in and get started. The first thing is content, and that's of course anything that you can see here on your website. That does also include the pictures, uh, what your pictures are saved as, and what's behind the picture. Google will consider that content as well. Um, and these are things that the search engine can read and just kind of lets the search engine know what services you're offering, uh, what locations you're targeting, um, and it does help you get ranked. So your pictures are absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Uh, I certainly want to look at this website. So the more you can do to help people actually find it, because I'm sure they're going to want to look at it too, the better. So um, I did see that you had these sub pages here as well, uh, which is great because that's another place that you can put in content uh, to Google content is king. So the more the better. I would suggest adding some more just from what I'm seeing. Now, of course, I can't see from my end uh, what your pictures are saved as or what's behind them. So I don't know if there are any, you know, keywords or key phrases. Um, that are showing up there but that's really the only tip that i have for you as far as the content is concerned so we'll go ahead and move on the second thing is going to be citations and i did pull up a google search here just for photographers in north carolina um, so citations have a lot to do with this section here this is called the map pack and essentially what a citation is is anywhere your business name address and phone number is listed in various directories throughout the web um, so you might be asking yourself, what is a directory and how the heck do I get myself listed in one of those? Um, so a directory would basically be anything like Facebook, which I know you have, which is great. Um, LinkedIn, uh, Yellow Pages, Yelp, and anywhere else online that allows business owners to add their business uh, services and details in there. Um, so with citations, you want to go out and find what your competition has and where they're being listed and you would want to get yourself listed there as well, but you would not just want to stop there. Whatever they have, you want to get that and them some, and that will help you to just completely dominate them and rank high in the search here. So that's all that I have about citations. The last thing that we will go over is going to be backlinks. And that has a lot to do with this section underneath that map pack. And this is what we call the organic section here. And the way that backlinks work um, is basically there's a website out there that uh, sends a link to your website, which pushes power to you. And of course, potentially brings you um, more traffic to your site. Uh, but not all backlinks are created equal. So for for instance, say that you uh, took some pictures for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided that they're going to take a link from their website and push one back to yours. But unfortunately, that link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's really not going to be very helpful for you. You would want to go out and get links from other photographers, other photography companies that will send a link to your site saying, yes, she is a photographer. She has a photography company. That's going to be a lot more powerful because it's unique, but it's also relevant to your industry. Um, so pulling up one of the tools that I have here, this is called Arifs, and this is your site here. So it's showing that you have four referring domains, giving you 74 backlinks, uh, getting you found for six keywords, and pushing about two people to your website each month. And I did pull up the keywords that you're ranking for here. Um, and this section here is very important. This is the volume. So this is roughly about how many people are searching for this particular keyword or key phrase per month. So um, it looks like you are ranking for your name and then long photography. Um, you would want to get more buyer intent keywords. So things that people are going to be searching for when they say to themselves, you know, I think I'd like to get some pictures taken. Um, you would definitely, definitely want to add more of those. Because right now, a ranking for your business name is great, but unless somebody is actually searching for your business name, you're not going to show up in that Google search. I did pull up um, one of your competitors here that ranks very high. So this is Fearless Photographers, and it looks like they have um, over 3,000 referring domains, giving them 243 backlinks, 
getting them found for over, excuse me, 243,000 backlinks, getting them found for over 19,000 keywords and um, pushing about uh, 14,000 people to their website per month. And I pulled up some of their keywords here too. So they actually have a lot of buyer intent keywords that have high volume, like North Carolina wedding photographers, um, best wedding photographers. And Jay, no, it looks like they have a lot of different locations listed here as well, uh, which is certainly helping them out quite a bit. And they just have a ton of keywords, um, which is always a good thing if they're ones that are being searched for a lot in that area. Uh, photographers in North Carolina, you know, that's definitely something that I would search for if I was looking for a photographer. So that's something to think about there too. Um, but really, in order to beat out your competition, you just wanna make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places that they are. And just like the citations, you don't just wanna stop there. Um, whatever keywords, backlinks they have, you wanna get what they have, and then you wanna go out and get more. So that's pretty much all that I have for you. I hope that this video was helpful and it was informative. Um, if you would like to know more about how I can help grow your business online or if you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned in the video, uh, please feel free to reach out and we can chat. And um, uh, I hope that you have a great rest of your night and thank you for taking the time to watch this. You take care.